Now I know what you're thinking right now about the title. You're probably thinking that this is a dream or something, but trust me, in this reality, Synergemon 10 preview builds for the Sprint Galaxy S3. Yep, that's right guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Synergemon 10 Jelly Bean on your Sprint Galaxy S3. So, without any further ado, let's get started on this. As you can see, Synergemon 910 preview. Now this is a preview build, so not everything works. There's still a bunch of stuff getting worked on. And as you can see, right here, that's pretty much all the things that are getting worked on right now. And as you can see, the last bullet is all the things. So this is obviously definitely a preview build. Now you're probably wondering how to get your hands on the files. Go ahead and make sure you have Clockward Mod Recovery installed. But this is not uh, the video where I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So go ahead and get the preview build here. So go ahead and click on that. And it's going to bring you to this page. Now, as you can see, it says too many connections, so looks like too many people are trying to download this right now, and that's expected for such a popular ROM like this. So go ahead and wait uh, until you think it won't be busy, and then try to download it. As you can see, I already have it downloaded. And then after you have that downloaded, go ahead and download the Jelly Bean Google Apps, and this is going to install the Play Store, Google Mail, Gmail, and all that other stuff. And with this one, you actually have to authorize the download. So I don't know, they're pretty locked down on the downloads on this. Uh, it's pretty, pretty popular right now. So make sure you have both of those downloaded. And then once you have the Google Apps and CM10 downloaded, move both of those files to the internal SD card of your Sprint Galaxy S3. And I will be back with you guys once you have those two files on your Galaxy S3. All right, so once you have those two files on your Sprint Galaxy S3, go ahead and unlock your device and power off. And I'm going to be back with you guys once our phone is powered off. Alright, so once your phone is powered off, go ahead and hold up on your volume locker, home button, and power. And then as soon as the Samsung screen pops up, go ahead and release. And that is going to boot us up into our custom recovery. And as you can see, we are in a custom recovery now. Now, before you do any of what I'm about to show you, go ahead and scroll down to Backup and Restore. And go ahead and make a backup. It's going to run through everything, back up your files so that you don't lose any data. But once you have finished that, go ahead and scroll up to Wipe Data, Factory Reset, and go ahead and click Power on that. Power is how you select in custom recovery in case you guys didn't know. And if you're new to this, go ahead and click on Wipe Data, Factory Reset. Now that's going to wipe all of your data, but it isn't going to wipe any external SD data or pictures or anything. It's just going to delete pretty much everything that was on your internal SD card. Now go to Wipe Cache Partition and hit Yes, Wipe Cache. And then scroll down to Advanced, and then Wipe Dalvik Cache. And once all of your things are wiped, go to Install Zip from SD Card, go to Choose Zip from Internal SD Card, and go to wherever you put those two files. I put mine in my download folder, as you can see, both of them are right there. Go ahead and click on CM10 Preview, Unofficial, and that's going to install uh, pretty much Jelly Bean for you. So this is CM10, it is installing right now. Now I'll be back with you guys once it is done installing. Alright, so as you can see, the install is complete, so hit up to go back, and then go to install zip from SD card once again, choose it from internal SD card, go right back to where uh, those files was, and go to Google Apps, G Apps 4.1, and install those. Hit yes, and it's going to install all of your Google Apps, and it shouldn't take that long, definitely a lot shorter than the ROM itself. So once that is done, I'll be back. Alright, so as you can see, our Google Apps are done installing, hit go back and reboot system now. And this is going to reboot into Cyanogen Mod 10. And as you can see, we got our Cyanogen Mod 9 boot up animation, but as you can see we got the new little CM symbol there called SID. I'm pretty sure it's called SID. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. As you can see right there, Synergy Mod 9. So they haven't really made a CM10 boot up animation. I'm sure they're working on that soon, though, just to make us happy. We don't really need it. It's just a boot up animation. But I sort of like it the way it is here. If they just added a 10 there and maybe put some little particles in the background, 
Uh, I think that would look pretty sick. Like maybe a jelly beans flaring out and then just put 10 there. That would look pretty cool. And once you hear a vibration or once you feel a vibration, then rather hear, then that note, that is your sign that is about to boot up. So once you feel that vibration, it's going to boot up. And I'll be right back with you guys once that happens to me. Alright, so here it is. It actually didn't vibrate for me when it boot up. It meant for you, but it did not for me. So go ahead and press start. And go ahead and go through all the sign up stuff. And yeah, sorry guys, my light just flicked off. I tried to push out this video as fast as I can and my light actually sort of burnt out. So I had to charge it for a little bit. And I did not take my time. So go ahead and type in whatever you want. Now I did notice that on the CM build, they haven't really worked out the vibration that much. So vibration is going to be really inconsistent on the intensity of the vibration. I don't know why it does that. Let me focus this for you guys so that you can see a little bit better. I really don't know why it does that, but you are going to have really in inconsistent vibration. But this is just a preview build, so don't go complaining that uh, it's giving you really inconsistent vibration. But you can always disable the vibration if you ever want that. But yeah, go to wallpapers. I really want to show you guys the wallpapers on this. As you can see, you've got this one. It's sort of like a... I don't know, it has Sid's face in the middle and then some icons around and then this one's sort of like a different color. But this one's probably my favorite. This one's really cool and I like this one a lot. But yeah guys, thanks for watching this how to install video of CM10 on your Sprint Galaxy S3. I'll definitely have a review on this and I will also have a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked. This is pretty sweet. I never thought the Jelly Bean would come this quick on the Galaxy S3. So once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out my friends, DMK Android, What Would Josh Do? Anybody else that really helps me with YouTube, all of my viewers, of course. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching once again for the third time, and I will talk to you all later.